hello to everyone i hope all you are doing very good so today's topics we will explain the young's modulus bulk modulus and poisson's ratio to avoid unnecessary very lengthy video we are going to cut short and making other two parts so which is dedicated to the elastic property in the previous video we already learned about elasticity plasticity what you mean by deforming force restoring force how the factors can affect to the elastic property of the material when stress and strain are going to act on that material what about force and all the things we came to know in a previous video if you want to know all these things please you can go through by clicking i button and then we'll continue with this video so extended part will explain in this video so before we begin with the concept i would like to request you people to subscribe my channel and share with your friends so with this let's roll the intro Before we begin to understand Young's modulus and bulk modulus and rigidity modulus, we must understand why we need to understand the elastic property of the material. See, whenever an engineer trying to build one building or an engineer trying to design one material by using or by combining other material, he must know the elasticity, plasticity, tensile strength, elastic limit stress and strain relationship various modula of elasticity of the material must be understood by using all this material he can build or he can design something so why we need it for example if we use pure metal that is very soft or the elasticity property of that material is more compared to the plasticity so then the strength of that material will be compromised if we use uh, alloys that will be very hard material where we can use it another applications in different uh, field so like this we must understand the elastic property of the material once you understand then only you can utilize complete property of that material otherwise it will be not possible so due to that reason we must study the elasticity or plasticity of the material so with this let's start with young's modulus in the young's modulus which we denoted as capital y the ratio of normal stress divided by longitudinal strain so stress means force per area divided by cha over change in length by original length that is what we call it as young's modulus that means the young's modulus related to the length of that material the equation we denoted as y that is equals to fl divided by al so f means force into original length divided by area into change in length this is the equation for young's modulus let's start with the bulk modulus bulk modulus means the ratio of normal stress to the volumetric strain within the elastic limit that is called bulk modulus so in this concept we are concentrating on volume in the previous young's modulus we are concentrating on length of the material in this we are concentrating the volume of that material bulk modulus is denoted as capital k so capital k is equals to normal stress divided by volumetric strain normal stress is nothing but force per unit area f by a divided by volumetric strain strain means that too we are concentrating on volume that means change in volume by original volume that we denote it as delta v divided by capital v if we uh, worked on this equation we will get pv divided by delta v where p means pressure which is exerting on the volume this is what we call it as bulk modulus in the next topic modulus of rigidity or rigidity of modulus 
which is defined as the ratio of tangential stress to the shearing strain is called modulus of rigidity where nita is equals to shearing stress divided by shearing strain in the case of bulk modulus we can see the changes may happen only in shape but there is no change in volume as we can see in this diagram if we apply the force in one direction the upper face of that body is only going to change by sliding for an angle theta but the lower face is fixed as as usual before and after applying the force this is what we call it as modulus of rigidity in the next concept we must know the definition for poisson's ratio which we denoted as sigma before we are going to understand the poisson's ratio we must know what you mean by longitudinal strain and lateral strain what are the main difference between longitudinal and lateral strain let us see one by one strain means there is a change in dimension to the original dimension in this case we are talking about longitudinal that means change in length by original length change in length is nothing but dl original length is nothing but capital l so that means if we have a body and we applied a force to one end of that body so we can see the change in length due to applied force so that is what we call it as longitudinal strain now let us talk about lateral strain so lateral strain means it is the ratio of decrease in the diameter to the original diameter so lateral strain is nothing but decrease in diameter that is delta d divided by original diameter small d that means if we have a body of capital l length l that is the original length once we start to apply a force to one end of that body where the body length will be going to change at the same time the diameter of that body also going to be changed in this case we can see the decrease in the diameter this is what we call it as lateral strain once we understand the, the longitudinal strain and lateral strain now we can see what do you mean by poisson's ratio that is defined as the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain we call it as poisson's ratio that means sigma is equals to lateral strain divided by longitudinal strain is known as poisson's ratio sigma is equals to delta d into capital l divided by small d into delta l this is the equation for poisson's ratio so lateral strain coefficient is nothing but we denoted as beta the ratio of lateral strain per unit stress is nothing but lateral strain coefficient and alpha means longitudinal strain coefficient longitudinal strain per unit stress is known as longitudinal strain which is denoted as alpha so the poisson's ratio sigma is equals to lateral strain coefficient divided by longitudinal strain coefficient lateral strain is related to the decrease in volume or decrease in diameter and longitudinal strain coefficient is related to the uh, increase in length so that is equals to means sigma is equals to beta by alpha so poisson's ratio we denoted as sigma that equals to beta by alpha this is what we call it as poisson's ratio so that's it for today guys i hope you understand whatever we try to explain in this video if you have any queries related to this topic you can comment in the comment section hopefully i will reply for that before this i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel share with your friends like this video and thank you for watching